Hello everyone, how's it going? So this is an update video on how easy Game Utility is getting on. So I created this program about a year ago and it has come a very long way since then. So I will actually put a picture of what it originally looked like up on the screen now. So as you can see, it looks very different. So let's just jump straight in now and see what new changes there are in the latest version and what I plan to add in later versions. So straight away on the clean tab here, you can see we've got the game launchers. We then got graphics, games and apps. So you can use all these areas here to clean up junk files off your computer. So you do need the pro version for some of the features within the easy game utility. So for example, here on the apps, you do need the pro version to clean the junk files. But I'm just going to show you how to analyze for a second anyway. So if I select all these files here and go analyze, you can see it's found loads of random files. So if I scroll through there, you can see all the files there. Now, if I had the pro version, I would then be able to click clean chunk files and remove those rubbish files that are no longer needed. So if we now move on to the files tab, you might have noticed here that a lot has changed. So on the files tab, it now has the graphics card option where you can go ahead and download the latest version driver for your graphics card by clicking on driver download. It will then take you to the website for your graphics card. You can also see what graphics card you have in your computer here as well. So you can see I've got an RX 6750 XT. On the left hand side we have loads of games here which you can then select one and simply go save data and it will then take you to the folder of the save data. So you can see there it's taken me to the Call of Duty folder. You can then also click on config files and also open mod files. If we then move on to the network tab, nothing's really changed here, apart from a little bit of tidying up. If we then go on to the launch tab, so there is a new thing that I have added to this version, which is GL2. It's actually something that I've been working on for a while. So as you can see here, it's got all games. So these are all the games that are installed on my computer at the moment. So along top here, you can see Steam, EA app, Xbox, and Ubisoft. But what's cool about GL2, which I've added, is if I click on Steam, I can select Steam Widget. As you can see now up the top left hand corner here, it's added a widget. So if I move this to the right hand side, and if I expand this a little bit, let's go there. I can then also click on the EA app and do the same again. And if I move that there, I'm just going to drag this across so it's nice and even. And then I can do the same for the Xbox app. You can add up to three widgets on the free version. If you purchase the Pro, you will be able to add more. So you can also change the transparency of the widgets as well. And of course, when you double click on one of the games, it will then launch it. So if I minimize Easy Gamer, you can see there that the widgets just remain on my desktop. If I open up File Explorer and put it over the top, you can see it just goes on top as they always remain on the bottom on the desktop. So that's a cool little feature that I've been working on and I will obviously expand on it and add more cool things. Obviously, if there is anything you'd like to see in Easy Game Utility, then pop a comment below as I do take all your feedback and everything on board and I do obviously want to add as much of it as I can if I think it would be suitable for the program. So moving on, we've got the Fix tab. As you can see here, we've got the attempt fix, but what I've now added is a progress bar. So you can now see how, you know, how far it is through the fixes. So you can gauge on how long it's going to take until it goes ahead and launches whatever game it is you're fixing. On custom game fixing, it's the same. So if I will select a game and then click on fix, it will pop up with a progress bar. I have also added many more methods as well, um, or fixes, into this option. The tweets tab, I've not done too much on yet, but there are a few tweets there which I do want to add more to as well. So other than that, um, as you can see the settings page, I've changed a little bit as well, but other than that, that's as far as I've so far got. So I hope you did like this little update on how the program's doing. 
I will do another video once I've added a few more bits. If you do want to get the pro version, you can currently use the discount code CHESTER10 and that will give you 10% discount off whatever the current price is. I will pop that discount code in the description below as well. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more.